Good morning. Thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday. It is January the 7th. And Tom, is it cold enough for you? That's an oxymoron. What good do you mean? Mo good morning. Oh, Tom. It's not a good morning. It's a freezing, frigid morning. Is it so cold? <laughs> it's brutal. I thought we were embracing no, winter. No, I said yesterday we're giving up on the embrace. No, you uh, said you all were giving up on it. problems. I love it. You lie. I don't. You do so. <laughs> okay. She's lying. It's cold and it's windy, and you went through a snow drift this morning that I you hit described a big one. as. I actually came down eighth line. By the way, ninth line is closed south of Georgetown for several hours. Serious drifting. North south routes could be treacherous. You've got to be careful. Problems on the 401. I've got a whole list of them. There you have it. Okay, um, it was like minus 39 right now <laughs> for the city of Toronto. Oh, that's nice. You love it, Tom. Oh, yeah. Love it. Nope. We have blizzard warnings in place. So, typical snow belt areas, that's where we're going to see the heaviest amount of snow. Now we'll talk about the long range forecast. We'll let you know if it's going to warm up. So Tom will be happy <laughs> in just a few moments. But right now, Tom, let's hear that long list that you have about traffic woes. The only saving grace is Bob Marley was singing on the radio when I Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday, it is the 7th of January, and our normal temperature for this time of year, Tom, is minus 1.8. And what's the temperature? Minus 24. It's just <laughs> stupid cold out there. The winds are howling. We had blizzards last night in Georgetown. Ninth line is closed south of Georgetown right now because of major drifts. I hit one this morning on eighth line. Mm -hmm. It's nasty. I love it. Bring it on. Have you seen my jacket? Have you seen my jacket? No. Okay, my jacket is like being wrapped in a duvet. The hood's like this. It goes all the way down to my ankles. And mm. it's one of those down-filled Canada mm. Goose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing's getting through that right. baby. Right, okay. That's, awesome. what, that's what you need. Totally. Right. Good pair of boots. Oh, gosh, it's cold. Anyway. You see, the roads were so slippery. We had a flash freeze warning in place yesterday. As Tom was saying, it's just been gross on the roads. Now, for more details on how things are going to pan out this morning for your commute, here's the man himself. Here's Tom. It warms up. This is when Tom's going to do a little dance over the weekend. We're at minus 11 tomorrow, still feeling like minus 20. But then look at Thursday, minus 5. Friday, a daytime high of zero. And then Saturday, that's when the next system's going to come in. But we're above the freezing mark. We're going to see daytime highs around 2 degrees, which is good news. And we stay above the freezing mark. Into this the weather segment. A relatively rare blizzard warning stayed in effect throughout the night around Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. I'll tell you all about that and when the turnaround is expected. In the meantime, be ready for temps. What exactly does that mean for us? Icy streets for one, because turning up the heat will help as well. The Arctic chill has also gripped the U.S. Winding. One of those methods just sounds wrong, but it works. They'll spray the fruit with water. The ice that forms on the outside will actually insulate the fruit from the icy air. They'll also use smoke and fans. We'll take a look at your long-range forecast in just a moment, but first I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He has an update on your commute. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday. It is January the 7th. And last week, Tom, you weren't here. I was here. No. It was all about the frostquakes. Oh, frostquakes. We're hearing them again this morning. A lot of people have been talking about it on Twitter. Where about Bur Burlington areas? to Peterborough, basically. Jeez. Uh, it's, uh, it's huge. I still so, haven't heard one. Uh, I haven't either, but I talked to several people uh, in Georgetown that heard them very clearly. Yeah. Like, it sounded like somebody was oh, jumping yeah. on their roof. And like their the, roof is falling major, down. Major crashes. So anyway, if you've heard a lot of uh, going on on the roof or any around your home, there are some ice quakes being reported. Cryoseismic activity is the more technical term for it. Uh, cry, I like how cry is in Well, there. because you cry when you hear it. <laughs> That's basically it, yeah. Here's the radar, and you can see the bands coming off the lake. It's certainly not not uh, pleasant, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to talk about your snowfall amounts through tomorrow morning in just a few moments, but right now I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He has an update on traffic. Well, it's cold. We're looking at minus 11 for tomorrow, feeling like minus 20. But then we warm up significantly. We're looking at minus 5 for Thursday, feeling like minus 10. And then for Friday, we bump up to zero. It's going to be tanning weather. Balmy. <laughs> okay, not quite, but still, compared to today, Saturday, we're looking at our next system coming in, about a high of 2 degrees. And we're going to stay above 
the freezing mark throughout the beginning of next week. So we just have to get there. Tomorrow through Oshawa, we're looking at minus 10, feeling like minus 19, but again, warming up just in time for the weekend. The at the end of last week, Frostquake was actually trending on Twitter for the GTA. Did you hear them last night? Well, apparently they're all the rage again, and we heard them from Burlington all the way to Peterborough. If you heard of Frostquake, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a tweet at EmilyTWN. And if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, and you're thinking, did she just say Frostquake? Yes, I did. <laughs> it's a cryosism, also known as a Frostquake. It can be caused by a sudden crack in frozen soil or rock that is saturated with water or ice. All it takes is a tiny, tiny, tiny little crack and a little tiny bit of water to drift into it and then it expands and it's almost like an explosion and that's what people are hearing. They're thinking, is my roof coming down around me? Is the house shaking? No, it's just a frost quake and the good news is that no one's ever well, been reportedly hurt from a frost quake. So they are harmless and uh, they're pretty fascinating temperatures are so cold it's no wonder we're dealing with these frost quakes gloves and a scarf stay active if you must be outside and of course stay dry because if you do get damp that's when you're starting to start to get really cold now with these cold temperatures our coffee break our question of the day what would you rather have right now the extreme cold of Canada the extreme heat of Australia I'll pass on both or there must be a happy medium somewhere tell us tell us where that is you know what? There isn't. 20%. Uh, so really close. I would take the heat over anything. Don't get me wrong. I am embracing winter. Right, Tom? <laughs> Tom's thinking, not a chance, Emily. Uh, but Tom, we're supposed to be embracing winter right now, not hating it, right? I'm not embracing it anymore. That's it. I Hi there, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday. It is the 7th of January and it is dangerously cold, Tom. It is. In fact, they've closed down a lot of the schools are closed down. Toronto District Catholic and Public, they're not running buses. Uh, buses, uh, a lot of the schools uh, through uh, Kitchener, Waterloo, uh, Waterloo Region, right down to Windsor are closed. Oof. So major closures, lots of very slippery roads, buses can't operate, so that's going to be a mess. A lot of those schools closed down. And Pearson, there's a lot of issues with flights coming in. They're actually not going to be coming in until noon. Kevin Yard joins us from Pearson. He's right in the parking garage. He's going to be going in to talk to some folks. And Kevin, I'm actually really glad you're inside today. Normally, I kind of get a little chuckle because you have to be outside in the cold and we don't and we kind of tease you about that but today I'm actually really really glad you're going to be inside thanks Kevin wind chill warnings in place we also have a blizzard warning as well as a snow squall warning and a wind warning and I'll talk about these in detail in just a few moments but first here's Tom with your commute Hi there. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here at the Weather Network. It's Tuesday. It is the 7th of January, and it is certainly the coldest day so far this year. Well, there's going to be a lot of happy kids because a lot of schools are closed. <laughs> uh, most of the buses are not running uh, yet. My son will want the Halton ones to be canceled. So far, that they has not been, happened. Though. Yeah. No, but Peel, Caledon, all the buses, and a lot of closures of schools all the way down to Windsor, uh, certainly west of Toronto. Well, temperatures are so cold right now. We do have watches and warnings in place, and I'll get to those in just a few moments. But let's check in with Kevin. He joined us at Pearson Airport this morning, and a lot of irate travelers, Kevin, as Pearson has a ground stop in effect. No one's going anywhere this morning. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we do have some warnings in place. We have a wind chill warning. It has been so cold, it's actually feeling like the minus 30s to the minus 40s throughout southern Ontario. We have heard reports of frost quakes this morning, and that is just when the ground expands and kind of explodes because of these cold temperatures. And all it takes is a little crack in the ice, and the ground gets saturated, and there you have it. It is incredibly loud. Now, we have blizzard warnings in place. We have snow squall warnings through Guelph and through the Kitchener area. Keep this in mind if you are going to be traveling because blowing snow is certainly becoming an issue. Speaking of snow, this is what we can expect on top of what we have already seen. 25 to 50 centimeters, that's up north of Muskoka. If you have travel plans up the 400 to Barrie this morning, it is going to be a mess with blowing and drifting snow. It's just been gross to be out on the roads. Here's a look at the scenario yesterday. It are in just a few moments. I am going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds right now. He has an update on what's going on in your commute. Tom? 
It's cold, but only for one more day. Tomorrow it's going to feel like minus 20, but we're going to see some sunshine. By Friday, we're bumping up to minus 6 through Hamilton and Saturday, sorry, <laughs> I skipped today. Thursday, we're bumping up to minus 6. Friday, we're bumping up to the freezing mark. And then over the weekend, we're actually going to be above zero, but that's when our next system starts to move in. Oh yeah, it's cold. We are seeing wind chills feeling closer to the minus 30s to minus 40s throughout the area. We have a wind chill warning in place. Pretty much stretches all through southern Ontario and through northern Ontario. Not only do we have wind chill warnings in place, but we also have blizzard warnings, wind warnings. We're going to be seeing intense weather down in that area. Northwest Waterloo has already picked up about 21 centimeters of snow. We're going to be heading even further south than that. We're going to check in with Mike Arsenault, who's in Windsor this morning. But first, let's check in with Kevin Yard. He is at Pearson Airport. And Kevin, complete ground stop. No flights coming into Pearson until at least 9 a.m. Travelers must be a little upset. Thanks, Kevin. I'm really glad he is inside today. Now, who is not inside? And I do feel really sorry for you, Mark, Mike. And I know that, you know, sometimes I tease you a little bit about being out and being a weather wimp. But today, I actually really feel for you. You are in Windsor and it feels like minus 40. How's it going? <laughs> so far this winter, it is freezing. We have warnings in place. We have a wind chill warning all the way throughout southern Ontario feels more like the minus 30s to the minus 40s. We have a blizzard warning in place through Mount Forest, through Gray, through Bruce, through Barry, Aurelia. 15 to 20 centimeters not out of the question. The squall warning through Kitchener and Guelph and Dufferin, Innisfil through Niagara Falls. In through Waterloo, we picked up about 21 centimeters yesterday, and in through Aurelia, 31 centimeters, and there is more snow on the way. We're going to check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us this morning at Pearson, where they've actually done a complete ground stop. Kevin, how are travelers handling this news? Thanks, Kevin. Now, as Kevin was mentioning, frostquakes are becoming another thing today. So here's Jacqueline Whittle with a really great explanation. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Tuesday, it is the 7th of January, and it is freezing. My name's Emily Vukovic, and if you're just joining me right now, if you're just rolling in bed and you're thinking, oh, all right, okay, time to get the day started, get the kids up, get breakfast made, you're going to want to take a look at this first. We have a wind chill warning in place. It actually feels like the minus 30s to the minus 40s throughout southern Ontario. These are dangerous wind chill conditions. You throw in some snow, some blowing snow, some drifting snow, and you've got life-threatening travel. We have blizzard warnings through Gray, through Bruce, through Barrie, and up towards Aurelia. We have squall warnings throughout Kitchener and Guelph and in through Dufferin County, Innisfil, and snow that came yesterday, well, about 39 centimeters throughout southwest Barrie in Aurelia. They're digging out a 31 centimeter, so all that snow is blowing around, causing treacherous driving conditions. It has been so cold and Things have been so bad throughout the GTA that Pearson has actually issued a ground stop. Nobody is going anywhere. Kevin Yard is joining us from the airport. And Kevin, how are these travelers feeling right now? All right, you want to talk about chili? Poor Mike Arsenault. Mike, it is not true. I am not the one to blame for you going out in these types of conditions. I know you said you maybe angered somebody at the Weather Network. It is totally not me, but you can send me a fruit basket anyways. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday. It's January the 7th and it's freezing. That's it, I've done my job. <laughs> Temperatures are so cold this morning. We actually have wind chill warnings in place all the way throughout southern Ontario and in through northern Ontario as well. Wind chill values making it feel closer to the minus 30s to minus 40s. We have a blizzard warning through uh, Gray and Bruce County, throughout Barrie and Aurelia, Mount Forest also in the blizzard warning. We have a squall warning through Kitchener and in through Guelph, through Dufferin County, through Innisfil. It has been a very, very messy commute for many people. We are seeing not only 
Uh, heavy bands of snow coming off the lakes. We're seeing squalls and snow, blowing snow, drifting snow is becoming an issue. You throw that all in with temperatures feeling like the minus 30s to minus 40s. You have life-threatening travel concerns. Speaking of travel concerns, Kevin Yard joins us live at Pearson this morning. Ground stop. That means no flights are coming into Pearson. No one is going anywhere fast. Kevin, how are travelers reacting to this? We'll be talking to so, so a few more passengers here who are delayed, all courtesy, there I am, because of the weather, back inside of the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. I'll talk to that guy, see what he has to say about the weather delaying his flight. Okay, frostquakes, they have been a big thing. We've been hearing reports of them from Burlington all the way out towards Peterborough. It is when the ground expands because of the really, really cold temperatures. All it takes is a little crack in the ground, a little bit of water to get into that, and that causes kind of an explosion, uh, cryoseismic activity, if you will. That's the more technical term for frostquake. It's been a bit of an issue. A lot of people have been talking about it on Twitter, and I'll be talking about it coming up a little bit later on in the hour as well. Right now, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. A lot of people experienced frostquakes in Georgetown, but you didn't hear any, did you? No, I was the good news is that we warm up. Tom, this is what we've been waiting for. We're going to see a daytime high of minus 11 tomorrow, feeling like minus 20. And then by Friday, we're hitting zero. By Saturday, it gets even better. We're actually going to bump above the freezing mark. But we've got our next system coming in, and because it is going to be so mild, we could see a little bit of mix mixed precipitation. Good morning. It is all about the cold temperatures and the wind chills this morning. Did you know, Tom, that they actually use beet juice? They mix it with the salt mm -hmm. to make it work better because yeah. salt is really not to anybody's use after minus well, 20. About minus 12, actually, salt starts to diminish. And oh. so they mix it with beet juice, uh, the salt brine, and you get to minus 35 mm -hmm. thereabouts. Uh, with the beet juice, so hey, you never, you never know what they're going to use, what vegetable they're going to use next. You're going to have people putting carrot juice on their front lawn. Uh, celery, <laughs> you could find all kinds of vegetables out there. Right, well, it is really cold. We have wind chill warnings in place throughout the lower Great Lakes. One centimeters of snow. Southwest Barrie, 39 centimeters. And all that's blowing around on the roads. Well, it, it's, it's caused white conditions and nasty conditions north of uh, the Perth and London area. There are a lot of the roads and concessions are in terrible shape, so they don't want people to drive there. All the school are closed west of Kitchener Waterloo. Wow. Buses canceled right across the area, and the airport is a mess as well. It's just not safe to be out in these conditions, and that's why a lot of these schools have closed. Kevin joins us at the airport, and Kevin, uh, a lot of angry travelers this morning, I'm assuming. Now, have you found anybody that's just kind of taking it in stride and realizing that it is what it is, and there's not much they can do about it? Uh, no. <laughs> Little promotion for Toronto tourism. There are a lot of great hotels around the airport, and some of them even have swimming pools. Grab the kids and spend an extra night in Toronto. That's what I would do. There's no way I'd wait in like a 12-hour lineup with kids. All right, temperatures are so cold, you add 25 to 50 centimeters of snow on top of winds that are gusting upwards of 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. You've got blizzard-like conditions, whiteout conditions. It is bad along the shores of Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. Through the GT it has been cripplingly cold and temperatures are going to stay cold until, well, you're going to have to wait until the long range to find that, that answer. Here's Tom now with traffic. Mm -hmm. It's warming up just in time for the weekend. Tomorrow still frigid. We're looking at minus 20 is what it's going to feel like. But by Friday, we're bumping up to zero. Saturday, we're looking at two degrees. But that is when our next system is coming in. And that could give us some mixed precipitation throughout the GTA. So travel could be a little slippery for the weekend. It's so cold this morning. Temperatures sitting into the minus 20s, feeling more like the minus 30s to the minus 40s. We have a slew of warnings in place. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic, and if you are getting a little bit of a late start to today and you're just kind of getting out of bed and rushing, trying to get ready, bundle up. We have a wind chill warning in place for the city of Toronto. It stretches through Hamilton, Mississauga, Oakville, Burlington. Everybody is in this. We are feeling wind chill values into the minus 30s down towards Windsor. They're feeling it to the minus 40s. It is so cold. We have blizzard warnings still in place through Gray, through Bruce County, through Barrie and Aurelia, over towards Mount Forest. Squall warnings in Kitchener and Guelph and in through Dufferin County. 
It has been awful in those areas. Some areas have picked up close to 40 centimeters of snow. You throw in winds that are sustained at about 40 to 50 kilometers an hour, gusting upwards of 80 kilometers an hour, and that's where you have the poor visibility. You throw in wind chills that feel like the minus 30s. It is dangerous to be out traveling in this type of weather. Partly uh, the reason why Pearson has put a ground stop on all flights. Nobody is going anywhere fast this morning. Kevin Yard joins us at Pearson. And Kevin, I asked you this earlier, but I'm determined for you to find somebody like this. Who is taking it all in stride and just realizing that it is what it is and there's nothing they can do to change it, so they might as well just kick back, grab a cup of coffee, and relax. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Kevin. Speaking of cold, we join Mike Arsenault. He is in Windsor this morning where wind chills are actually feeling like the minus 40s. And Mike, I got to tell you, I was watching you in the preview screen a little earlier and you were running up and down the sidewalk. Is that helping you stay warm at all? Force Good morning. It's Tuesday. It is the 7th the of January. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. Supreme. It's cold today. It really is, and my son was so hoping for a snow day. <laughs> Poor Liam, he's so but mad. The, but the, uh, the Halton school board is running the buses, <laughs> same with Durham, Hamilton. Sorry, Liam. Most of the others aren't. Buses are not running in most areas, and a lot of school cancellations right down to Windsor. And Liam, you're going to have to wear your boots today, no runners. <laughs> Yeah. Gotta wear your boots. Yeah, he is. Because <laughs> if you don't wear your boots, you he might wipe out. So upset. Oh, so well. Slippery. Too bad. Go learn something. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you're not letting him stay home, anyways. Forget that. Well, I don't know. No chance. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, wind chill warning in place. So, we've got a whole slew of warnings. We also have a wind warning just south of Hamilton. It's very gusty, fresh snow on the ground, blowing snow, drifting snow, bad for the roads. And tra traveling by any type of transportation. TDC has canceled most of their streetcar service. Really? Yeah, their streetcars are messed up totally because of the cold. So that's major delays. And delays to the go trains and, tra and planes. Well, Kevin has details Planes, on trains, and automobiles. You is, got is that it. where you're going with exactly. that? Exactly. Okay, Kevin, what's the situation at the airport now? Thanks, Kevin. I think more people need to have that attitude because no matter how much you complain, it is not going to make your flight leave any sooner, that's for sure. So you might as well just grab a cup of coffee and hang out. Enjoy the minus 30 temperatures. <laughs> that's all. And we warm up slightly. But the real warm up, that's coming. I'll have all the details coming up in your long range. But first, Tom, what's going on in the roads? Hi there, thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 7th of January and it is cold. It's freezing throughout southern Ontario. Wind chill warnings are in place. It's actually feeling more like the minus 30s to the minus 40s. We have blizzard warnings through Mount Forest and through Gray and Bruce counties, through Barrie and Aurelia. We also have snow squall warnings still in place through Kitchener and through Guelph, Dufferin County, Innisville. It has been very windy down towards south of Hamilton. It has been windy through the blizzard areas as well. Sustained winds at about 50 kilometers an hour, gusting anywhere from 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. Throw in a lot of snow. Some areas like Southwest Barrie saw 39 centimeters of snow yesterday. So you throw in the winds, you throw in the wind chills. It is dangerous to be traveling in these types of conditions. We are advising you, if you don't have to go out, just stay home. And if you do go out, cover up all exposed skin because you can get frostbite in like five to 10 minutes in these types of conditions. Kevin Yard is joining us at Pearson Airport where the weather has contributed to a ground stop, which means nobody is coming into Pearson and that kind of means nobody's going out either. A lot of flights have been canceled. And Kevin, a lot of disgruntled travelers, a lot of people aren't happy about this, are they? Thanks, Kevin. We think it's cold here in Toronto. It's colder in Windsor. And that is where we have sent the lovely Mike Arsenault. <laughs> I'm saying that because he thinks it's my fault that he is out in these cold temperatures. But Mike, really, it's not me. It's you. <laughs> Don't go outside. If you absolutely have to go outside, make sure you bundle up. Exposed skin can freeze in less than five to 10 minutes. Uh, stay active and stay dry in these conditions. It is so cold, we have a wind chill warning in place. Thank you for joining us, by the way, here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday, it is the 7th of January, and we are normally sitting at about minus 1.8 for this time of year. Today, we are going to struggle struggle to hit the minus teens and feel more like the minus 30s. Wind chill warning in place, that's uh, 
That stretches all the way from Kingston straight down to Windsor, wind chills minus 30s to minus 40s. We still have blizzard warnings in place through Gray and Bruce County, through Barry, as well as through Aurelia and Mount Forest. We have squall warnings through Kitchener and in through Guelph, uh, Dufferin County, Innisfil. It has been so gross. <laughs> That's the only word I can use to describe right now. I'm starting to run out of adjectives. Blizzard-like conditions, it was nasty to be out on the roads. Not to mention the flash freeze that we saw anywhere south of the 401. It literally happened within hours yesterday morning. I went out, I left for work at 4 o'clock in the morning. Everything was slushy. By the time I got home, everything was frozen. Went for a walk and it was kind of like walking in a death trap. Not a good idea in these types of conditions. Snowfall forecast, we're looking at an additional 25 to 50 Five zero centimeters of snow to areas further north of Muskoka. In Toronto, we're looking at less than three centimeters, but still bitterly cold. It is not pleasant. Pearson Airport has been a very busy place this morning, and the lineups are long. Reason being, a complete ground stop. Kevin Yard is there talking to passengers. And Kevin, what's the consensus? Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday. It is January the 7th and it is freezing. It is so cold. <laughs> so I mean, cold. A, lot of, a lot of schools closed and buses not running. Uh, transportation is a problem. TDC running into major issues. Basically, when you get this cold, compressors and things that, like that don't work. No. Mechanical things don't work. No. Your tires don't work. Your brakes don't work properly. But compressors are noticeably bad, so a lot of trains and things like that delayed as well. Planes are delayed as well. Yeah. And, you know, I say this because I'm here and I'm not standing in a three to seven hour lineup at Pearson, no. but your complaining isn't going to get you on the plane faster. So you might as well just grab a cup of coffee, hang out, go get a massage. You can get one of those little mini pedicures and manicures at the airport. There's lots of stuff to keep you occupied. Yeah, but there might be lineups at all of those too. Yeah, because well. there's so many people trapped going absolutely nowhere. Yeah, it's true. We'll check in with Kevin in just a moment. Well, it has not been good throughout the lower Great Lakes for travel because you take winds that are feeling like the minus 30s. You throw that in with gusts up to 80 kilometers an hour yeah. and fresh snow. Yeah. Disaster on the road. And so you want to absorb, you want to wrap your arms around the I'm winter, do you? I'm embracing it, Tom. I'm embracing it. I well, love I'm not, it. I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> Let's go to Kevin. He's at Pearson right now. Kevin, how are the travels handling all the delays? <laughs> Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> Kevin's, Kevin's at the back of the line. He's so mad. <laughs> he's not talking. He's trying to get out of here. You know, it, I'm leaving. I mean, the, these lineups are three, four hundred meters long. It's oh, just yeah. crazy. And those are trying to, you know, re rebook their flights. Uh, yeah, this isn't. This is cancellations and uh, people trying to get out. I mean, to Halifax. Oh. A lot of uh, Kevin talked to somebody trying to go to the UK earlier. Going to Australia. Oh, oh man. I think I'd rather be in Australia. Australia would be good. It's hot there. It's hot. <laughs> All right, minus seventeen is our daytime high. Means through the overnight, it's going to feel more like minus. 32, but then we warm up. How warm do we get and when is this going to be happening for us? I've got all the details coming up in your long range forecast, but first, Tom, how are people faring on the roads this morning? See your forecast. Warming on up. Yep, we are going to be seeing daytime highs above the freezing mark by Friday. Tomorrow, minus 11, feeling like minus 20, so still a little on the cool side. But by the weekend, we bump up to four degrees on Saturday, but we've got our next system coming in all rain. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It is January the 7th. I'm Emily Vukovic, and it is frigid today. Temperatures at this time of year should be closer to minus 1.8. Today, we are going to be sitting into the minus teens, minus 20s, feeling more like the minus 30s in some cases in and around southern Ontario. Yet, you have heavy snow with those squalls coming off of Huron and Georgian Bay. It was not pretty. Here's a look at some of the snowfall totals. Kitchener picked up 25 centimeters. Barry, 31 to 39. It was more the southwest portion of Barry that picked up 39 centimeters of snow. Aurelia, 29 centimeters. And in through the GTA, 4 to 14 centimeters. It really depended on where you were located uh, for those squalls to kind of reach you from Georgia Bay or Lake Huron, depending on how far east or west you were. Now, temperatures have been so cold. This morning, we were sitting at minus 23 through Toronto. It felt more like minus 38 when you factored in the wind. It felt like minus 40 through Hamilton. It felt more like minus 39 through Windsor. With that, 
We have a wind chill warning in place, feeling like the minus 30s to minus 40s for the day today. It is so cold throughout southern Ontario. We have blizzard warnings in place through Mount Forest, through Gray, through Bruce, through Barrie, as well as through Aurelia. We have squall warnings still in effect through Kitchener and through Guelph and through Dufferin counties, through Niagara Falls. It is going to be a very blustery day. We've got wind warnings south of Hamilton. Temperatures as cold as they are with feeling like minus 30. It's cold through the overnight as well and tomorrow morning we're going to see some sunshine but it is still going to be frigid. So this afternoon we're looking at minus 17, feeling like minus 30 for the city of Toronto and feeling like minus 32 through Hamilton. This weather day we've got some advice on how to best stay warm and speaking of warm we've got a warm-up on the way of all those details coming up in your long-range forecast. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Tuesday. It is January the 7th and it is cold. It's frigid. Trying to get around anywhere has been a bit of a nuisance these last few days. We'll talk about the winds, we'll talk about the snow, and we'll talk about the wind chill warning. It's in place, stretches from Kingston all the way down towards Windsor. Wind chill values are feeling closer to the minus 30s to the minus 40s. Now we have blizzard warnings in place, we have snow squall warnings in place in south of Hamilton. We even have a wind chill warning. Now the blizzard warnings through Mount Forest, through uh, Gray and Bruce County, through Barrie, as well as through Aurelia. The snow squall warnings continue in the Kitchener area as well as through Guelph. It has not been great through Dufferin County and Innisville. Temperatures have been contributing to dangerous driving conditions. It has been so cold. You throw in wind chills that feel like minus 30 to minus 40. You throw in a lot of snow coming off the lakes. And then you top it off with winds gusting 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. That is why we have the blizzard warning in place. It is not safe to be out in these types of conditions, so stay in if you can. A lot of travelers are trying to get from A to B, and a lot of them aren't going anywhere fast. Kevin Yard joins us at Pearson. And Kevin, what's the consensus? I know a lot of travelers are probably pretty upset with this, but is anybody just kind of taking this in stride and understanding that, you know, Pearson's putting their safety first? <laughs> Thank you for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic, and temperatures have been frigid. It's a very cold, cold Tuesday. We have wind chill warnings in place throughout the lower Great Lakes and even through northern Ontario. Wind chill values by the afternoon feeling closer to the minus 30s to minus 40s, depending on where you are. In and around the GTA, we're looking at wind chills feeling like minus 30. Down towards the Windsor area, we've been dealing with wind chills closer to minus 40. With that, we do have a blizzard warning in place, a wind warning down towards south of Hamilton, and snow squall warnings also have been issued. It is not going to be a good drive. In general, cars don't like these types of temperatures. They don't like these types of conditions. For tips on how to get your car winter ready, here's Kasia Padurka. It's important to always have your tires properly inflated, especially under these kind of conditions out there. It's also very important to have a full tank of gas so your car doesn't have to work as hard to start. Uh, did you know that batteries lose 80% of their efficiency in really cold temperatures below zero? So it's really important to have a good pair of booster cables with you. And another neat thing to have around is an intelligent battery charger. Just another tip that uh, some of the experts are providing for these really cold temperatures. How cold is it gonna to get to you inside? Thanks, Kasia. Well, it's been so cold that a lot of people have been experiencing frost quakes. Here's more information from Jacqueline Whittle. Is it an earthquake or a frost quake? Not to be confused with an earthquake. This is actually called a cryoseismic. And a cryoseismic, what's important to know about that is it's non-tectonic. So we don't have tectonic plates like we have in an earthquake that are shifting together or pushing together or uh, pulling apart where we actually have fault lines in an earthquake. With this, this is all to do with temperatures. And like the ice storm that they saw late in 2013, uh, we have expansion and contraction of water at the surface. Surface. So that could be water through the rocks below the surface and those rocks start to expand. The ice expands, the rocks move and then boom, you have this loud noise. And with cold temperatures, uh, these loud booms can travel very far. So lots of people heard all of these scary noises right in downtown Toronto. Thanks, Jacqueline. The good news is that our temperatures are going to be warming up. Minus 11 for tomorrow, but feeling like minus 20 by the weekend. We're going to hit a daytime high of 4 degrees through Hamilton. Our next system is moving in. A lot of rain could potentially melt a lot of our snow. 
The good news is that temperatures will warm up, and I've got all those details coming up in your long-range forecast. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It has been incredibly cold throughout the GTA. We have frost, uh, we have wind chill warnings in place, we have blizzard warnings. It has just been an absolute mess for commuters. Here's a look at the wind chill warning. It's cold stretching from Kingston all the way down to Windsor. We've been feeling wind chills through the minus 30s, minus 40s. Throw in a blizzard warning as well as a snow squall warning and you have really tricky travel conditions. The winds have been sustained anywhere from 20 to 50 kilometers an hour, gusting upwards of 70 to 80 kilometers an hour. You throw in some fresh snow like 25 to 50 centimeters and you have really tricky travel. Also, it has been very tricky to get anywhere out of Pearson this morning. Uh, Kevin, you're at Pearson Airport and the ground stop has been lifted, but it looks as though a lot of travelers still waiting. Thanks, Kevin. I wish I was in Cuba. <laughs> I would take temperatures above 30 degrees and trade it in for this. No thanks. Oh, it has been so cold throughout the Lower Great Lakes. You really need to dress for these types of conditions. And you may have heard uh, the frost quakes that have been happening throughout the Lower Great Lakes. Today, we had reports anywhere from Burlington to Peterborough. It's just a really loud bang. It's called, the more technical term for it is a cryoseismic, act, well, cryoseismic mick activity is what it is go to the weather for an in-depth analysis on the